TRAPPIST-1, a ultra-cool dwarf star located about 39 light-years from Earth, has been making headlines in the scientific community for quite some time. And for good reason. This tiny star is home to not one, not two, but seven Earth-sized planets, each with its own unique characteristics that make them potential candidates for supporting life. The fact that these planets are so distant from us means that we have to rely on indirect methods, such as the transit method, to study their atmospheres, which can be prone to errors and misinterpretations. By combining data from multiple space and ground-based telescopes, researchers have been able to gather valuable insights into the composition and properties of these atmospheres. Let's start with the innermost planet, TRAPPIST-1b, which is thought to be a rocky world with a thick atmosphere. The next planet, TRAPPIST-1c, is also believed to be rocky, but with a much thicker atmosphere that could be indicative of volcanic activity. The third planet, TRAPPIST-1d, is thought to be the most Earth-like of the seven, with a thick atmosphere and surface temperatures that could be suitable for liquid water. The fourth planet, TRAPPIST-1e, is considered the most promising candidate for supporting life, with surface temperatures that could be suitable for liquid water and a dense atmosphere that could be indicative of biological activity. The fifth planet, TRAPPIST-1f, is an icy world with a very slow rotation period, which could lead to extreme temperature variations between its day and night sides. The sixth planet, TRAPPIST-1g, is also an icy world, but with a much thicker atmosphere that could be indicative of volcanic activity. And finally, the seventh planet, TRAPPIST-1h, is thought to be a cold, icy world with a very slow rotation period. Additionally, Scientists have found evidence of water vapor and organic molecules in the atmospheres of some of the planets, which could be indicative of biological activity. The discovery of water vapor and organic molecules in the atmospheres of the TRAPPIST-1 planets has significant implications for the search for extraterrestrial life. It suggests that these planets could be capable of supporting life, either currently or in the past. So, which TRAPPIST-1 planet do you find the most interesting? And if you want to learn more about the wonders of our universe, be sure to check out my next video on another fascinating space topic.